Good evening. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Orlando, Florida. A uh, whole different type of place up here. And just looking out of my hotel room, got done with the show a little bit early today. As you know, I'm out of town. I'm just doing these uh, audio uh, uh, videos, right? audio videos uh, at the moment. And I'm um, checking out, boy, there's some lightning coming up here. Pretty cool light show out going on outside my hotel room. And what's going on with markets here? Let me tell you what's going on with markets. Uh, gold right now is sitting around 1741. The aftermarkets are open, uh, just opened up a little bit. Um, and silver sitting around 1926 and platinum 875. Uh, without going into detail, and I really can't show you the 24-hour charts, I, I won't be able to get back to my normal show until uh, next Monday. But things are kind of sideways. Gold's, you know, holding at this level, 1740. Uh, again, banged down uh, yesterday under the pretense that higher interest rates by the Fed is going to make a significant, a significant difference in inflation and the CPI numbers. It's not. It's not. And again, I don't. There is not a gold buyer out there, a silver buyer, platinum buyer, commodities buyer, wheat, oil, any of these things that truly believes that the Fed's meaningless uh, 50 basis points or 75 basis points and 100 by this quarter will have any significance at all on the CPI or inflation. It won't, folks. It only provides great news for the talking heads in the corporate media, uh, CNN, Bloomberg, all those uh, <clears throat> morons that simply just quote what they're told. Uh, uh, it's it's not going to make a significant difference. Again, you know, w w gold. Uh, as soon as we hear, you think about this: all the people that own gold, and gold's gone down. Typically, in supply and demand markets, when there's a big demand for gold, gold goes up in price. When there's no demand for gold, it goes down. But we've had constant demand for gold, and I can say the same thing about silver: constant, constant demand for gold and silver on a retail investor level, on a uh, you know, even the uh, central banks are buying heavily uh, gold right now. Uh, and in silver, of course, we know that that market is completely manipulated uh, in the COMEX markets, uh, allowed by the CME group, in my opinion, in the opinion of people much smarter than me. Uh, and silver's just been banged below that 20 mark. I think at this point that the uh, uh, big commercial shorts uh, are trying to uh, close out these short positions at this sub-$20 level uh, and, and try not to take the loss that they're uh, sitting on, even currently. According to Ted Butler, I think last time he said sub-$20 silver, the, the, banks, uh, the, the combined banks were sitting on a $6 billion. I'm not sure if that's the four commercials or the eight commercials, uh, or I guess with one uh, uh, <clears throat> a new, a new uh uh, manage money in there as well at the moment, which uh, Mr. Butler says is unusual. Uh, it's mostly uh, big commercials that are in there. But <clears throat> uh, I, I think uh, all of them combined, maybe eight or four of them, are in the, in the loss at, uh, we're in a loss at the uh, high 19s at, uh, what is it again? I think he said $6 billion combined is what they would lose. Uh, I, I just think they're trying to minimize the losses or maybe turn those losses into wins. Of course, I'd like to see these manipulative motherfuckers lose in this deal. Uh, however, life is not always about, you know, justice is, is not what life is always about. It's about those who can pay for justice, and that's what you got going on. And speaking of paying for justice, let's talk about uh, uh, the J.P., Morgan uh, a criminal case that's going on right now or with some of their traders. I'm going to read that to you in a little bit here. Uh, I found it in uh, uh, ZH and I didn't know that a trial was starting for some of the uh, uh, JP Morgan traders. And these are the guys that, uh, and, and, and the government contends that they spoofed markets. So, I mean, there's some shit happening out there, uh, surprisingly. Uh, I was to totally off guard and probably stupid because I, I, I missed the whole thing. But yeah, there's a couple guys going to uh, jail potentially, and I'll read that to you in a minute. I think markets are going to be sideways here. You know, uh, I said yesterday, would we see sub $19 silver? I mean, it's still possible. Tomorrow's Friday. You know, that's usually when they monkey hammer markets Friday night, uh, Sunday nights. Monday mornings, uh, but actually, it seems of late the last month or two, they're not they're they're shameless. They'll they'll go in and monkey hammer and fuck with these markets anytime they want now. Uh, criminal bastards that they are. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> uh, platinum, uh, palladium. Look at palladium almost at that two thousand dollar mark. That's a bit odd to me too. Can't quite figure out why palladium's uh, yo-yoed like that so much. Uh, but anyways, I don't want to talk about palladium. Hardly anyone buys it. Uh, what I am going to talk about is this article in. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's a Bloomberg article, and let me read this to you. Um, Michael Nowick was once the most powerful person in the gold market. The former J.P. Morgan Chase Company managing director ran the precious metals business for more than a decade, making hundreds of millions of dollars in profit trading from silver to palladium. 
Now he and two of his former colleagues for face a federal jury in Chicago on criminal charges for thousands of so-called spoofing trades. And folks, they're still doing it. They're still spoofing out there. Uh, why do you think metals has been hammered so much in the last couple of months here? In the last year or two, they're continuing to spoof out there. But hey, let me move along here. Uh, uh, for, and CME allows it, okay? And this uh, this uh, uh, trial is in Chicago. I hope the CME group ends up in front of this uh, federal jury as well, uh, in my personal opinion, for allowing this kind of behavior to happen. Uh, well, anyways, uh, on criminal charges for thousands of so-called, they call it, spoofing trades, which prosecutors say were used for years to generate illicit gains for J.P. Morgan's top client. Here's the facts, folks. If these ignorant prosecutors can figure out that J.P. Morgan was spoofing markets and bring a case against them criminally, not J.P., but their, their traders. And it's funny, J.P. is not having a case brought against them directly. They just throw their traders under the bus. But that's what you do when you're a giant vampire squid. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, 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 prosecutors say they were used to generate illicit gains for J.P. Morgan's and its top clients. The trial slated to kick off Thursday, threatens to lay bare the inner workings of the prestigious bank that has long dominated the market for gold. The government says Nowick's business operated as a criminal enterprise, manipulating, again, this is government prosecutors saying this, folks. So for them to pick up on this and for them to do, you know, to, to carry with this case, uh, either someone ratted them out or B, there's someone actually smart in the prosecutor, on the prosecutor's side that understands markets or understands how crooked they are. And again, we're hoping that they get to the silver market here pretty soon. Uh, the government says his business operated, Noix business operated. And I, I like how they say Noix business because it really was JP's business. Operated as a criminal enterprise, manipulating prices. Now get this, folks. 2008 to 2016. Remember I was telling you that, in my opinion, that the big crash in 2012 was a result of J.P. Morgan and other big commercial spoofing? That's exactly what it was. There was no reason for that crash from $50 down to uh, where we eventually went to $15 up until about 2016. Uh, other than pure, simple, collusive, manipulative, criminal, illegal behavior on the uh, CME crime X markets. And again, here's proof of it right here. Uh, even the government's case is saying that they manipulated prices from 2008 to 2016 by placing thousands of trade orders that were never intended to be executed. Uh, if convicted, the three men are among the biggest players yet to face prison for price manipulation. Some reason, folks, something just tells me too big to fail, too big to jail. Now, is J.P. Uh, Morgan helping these guys get out of this case, or have they just thrown them under the bus and left them on their, on their own, or maybe sitting on the sidelines helping out? Because perhaps J.P. Morgan knows, knows for a fact that if these guys go to prison, think about this, you know, J.P. Morgan's got billions of dollars. If they know that these guys are going to prison, they're going to throw everything behind these guys. Uh, I, even to my opinion, paying off judges, you know, if, if they don't mind sneaking – or, 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 or criminal markets that they run, then they, I'm sure they don't mind paying out judges. Again, just my opinion. Uh, uh, it, it, they're going to get these guys out of this because, again, if these guys go down, then it's going to uh, cause uh, uh, J.P. Morgan some civil suits and some other things. So, yeah, too big to fail, too big to jail. Uh, prisons and laws are not made for us small average folks. Uh, I mean, not made for big companies and not made for the people that run them. Prisons and jails and uh, uh, laws are made for, for, for the average working people, you know. So there you go. Uh, but, hey, let's hope. Let's hope that these fuckers go to jail and let's hope J.P. goes down with it. Uh, and, of course, we know this is a fact. Uh, J.P. Morgan got caught manipulating the price of gold. They had to pay $920 million to settle the spoofing claims two years ago. I believe this is a separate case that the government's filed against these people independently. I'm not sure if it's combined or, or, or it's a part of the same deal. But with $330 billion of notional value in precious metals derivatives, contracts at the end of March. Folks, it's criminal. I'm telling you, the COMEX markets, the CME markets, um, the markets, <clears throat> the price the, the price discovery that we see in the uh, CME markets and probably LME markets and probably the London markets, it's fucking crooked, folks. It's crooked, uh, manipulative, criminal shit, I'm telling you. Uh, and I'm just tired of talking about it, but I'm not, I'm not tired of placing emphasis on the fact that uh, these, these people are just criminals. Uh, the New York-based bank accounts for 67% of the positions put through U.S. banks. It holds three times as much as the ne next biggest player, Citicorp. And again, Bloomberg is actually starting to discuss the other big commercial shorts, Citigroup and maybe some of the other guys. Uh, 
Uh, Nowak, who has a board member, was also a board member on the body that runs the London gold market, faces 15 counts, including commodities fraud, conspiracy to engage in racketeering and price manipulation, and spoofing. And again, folks, the case is brought against them by uh, 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 federal prosecutors. And they are stupid. So the fact that federal prosecutors, in my opinion, can, can even handle a case and bring this case tells you how open and how in our face that this is that you know what i'm saying uh but again who gets paid off to let these guys go i don't know and, and jp's got the money to pay people off uh, and let me continue this planting fake orders into the market to steer others into buying or selling prices that the favor the bank trader greg smith faces 13 counts where jeffrey rufo a salesman faces two counts a fourth defendant trader christopher jordan is scheduled to be tried separately on november 28th all four had pled not guilty and faced decades in prison you know <clears throat> And of course, they've all pleaded not guilty. That's what their masters and boss told them to do if they wanted support. JP said, don't plead guilty. If you plead guilty, it's going to fuck us, and we're going to end up getting civil suits against us. So JP is going to throw all the money behind these guys one way or another, support for these guys. Uh, uh, so uh, so I, I'd be surprised if they get charged with this. And if they did, it'd be like, um, boy, that, that's a heaven sent. Uh, for the uh, gold and silver community if these guys get convicted, as they should be convicted. Um, all four have pled not guilty. Noah's Lord declined to comment, as did federal prosecutors. Attorney for Smith and Rufo didn't respond to the request for comment. Uh, I'm going to take a sip here. And tonight's uh, 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 preferred drink is a Merlot brought to you by the Hyatt um, <laughs> the Hyatt Bar. Okay. Nowick was arrested in September 2019, sending a shockwave through the metals and propriety trading world. Industry insiders told Bloomberg in 2020 that Noah, an introverted and brainy young father with a house in the Manhattan suburbs, had a clean reputation. He was released on 250,000 bonds. You know, maybe the guy is clean. Maybe he's a good dude. And, but I'm telling you, you can't blame necessarily Nowak. Who did he make the money for? Who were his bosses? Who gave him the head shake, the nod, said it was okay, took the money? Fucking J.P. Morgan. Jamie Demon Scumbag uh, and his fucking crew of henchmen. All right, let me keep going on here. His arrest was part of a rasp of prosecutions brought by the Justice Department. Since spoofing was defined and made illegal by the Dodd-Frank in 2010, the government has extracted more than $1 billion in fines. It's the one time that, you know what, you, you got to think, too, the fines, the fines. This is just a good way to, to, to bankroll these departments that are going after these people. So they look at these fines. Uh, if they start looking at it from a crimp, and, and, the, and these companies, uh, J.P. Morgan doesn't mind paying a fucking 980 or $20 million fine when they made $4 billion doing it. They don't mind paying a billion dollars when they made $10 billion uh, breaking the laws. The, the real change is going to come when these fuckers get convicted on a criminal basis as they should be, all right? Uh, the government has extracted more than $1 billion in fines for banks and criminal charges against dozens of individuals using trading records and inter internal bank chat logs as evidence. The U.S. cracked down in 2021. Two Bank of American Corp precious metal traders were convicted in Chicago. This is 2021, folks. Bank of America, BOA. A year early, uh, earlier, a jury found Deutsche Bank guilty while others plea. The most infamous spoofer was Navender Single Saro, a British trader accused of contributing to the 2010 flash crash in U.S. stocks. While cases have involved alleged crimes as commodity fraud or conspiracy, prosecutors have upped the ante with J.P. Morgan defendants. They've added charges under racketeering influence, corrupt organization act, law more commonly used against gangs or mafias. <laughs> well, who the fuck do they think they're dealing with when they're dealing with J.P. Morgan? They're dealing with the fucking mafia itself. Bigger than the mafia, bigger than any gang. Uh, the, the, the king of gangs and the king of mafia, J.P. Morgan, Jamie Demon, and his scumbag henchmen. Uh, the, the government's claim members of the Precious Metals Desk work together to use unlawful trading practices to maximize the bank's profit and minimize its losses on trades in gold and silver. More recently, <clears throat> RICO statues were used in criminal charges against Bill Huang, whose Ar 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 Archegos uh, capital management collapsed last year, costing banks billions. It's the closest thing we have to a nuclear option in the financial context. Uh, and kind of moving down here, among the government's witnesses are former J.P. Morgan employees, uh, John Edmonds, he's going to get paid off or killed, <laughs> sorry, uh, who told prosecutors about Noah's trading in 2018, uh, as well as Armin Nakab, Kristen Pfeiffer, and Christian Trunge. Court records show another former Bear Stearns and Bank of Nova Scotia trader, Corey Flom, who pleaded guilty. All right, so, man, they're just pleading guilty, and, and they're talking about one chat entry from May 7, 2008. A bank employee informed Noah that, and Smith that, just bid it up to sell. I mean, come on, folks. I mean, 
you know, I'm impressed that the government's actually doing something uh, uh, with these prosecutions, and I hope it goes further. And I hope it goes into criminal prosecutions because that's the only thing that are going to stop these scumbags from knocking down the gold and silver prices uh, until, you know, or their fear of going to prison. They don't mind paying fines, but th- slap some prison sentences on this stuff, and, uh, you know, their tune is going to change real fucking quick. Uh, at that moment, Smith placed an order to sell seven gold futures while placing an offer to buy 77, prosecutors said. The activity was viewable for 59 seconds before Smith sold three of his contracts and canceled his swarm of buy orders. Uh, and his colleague sent him a message that says, a priest, the caller responded, that worked. Folks, it's still going on. They're still doing it, all right? Uh, and again, until these prosecutions start to happen, and let's hope that the judges and, and people involved with this aren't paid off and that the witnesses aren't paid off and that J.P. Morgan doesn't, uh, is not able to uh, wiggle these fuckers out of this. Uh, J.P. Morgan, which already committed, admitted wrongdoing and agreed to cooperate with the prosecutors, has been fighting to keep someone's internal communications out of the trial. Of course they have. So J.P. is uh, fully in the middle of doing this. Um, uh, market players said that before Dodd Frank, spoofing is known today was prevalent on Wall Street. Some traders thought sought to bluff rivals like high frequency trader firms. Uh, if you have a large order and the algorithms pick up that you're selling, 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 and again making a fake sale, then you are going to jump in front of you, and they're going to start uh, uh, trading like that. And that's exactly what. Again, folks, what have I been telling you about gold and silver markets in the evening? All right. Um, <clears throat> That's been happening uh, for, for even since then. It's still happening today. Uh, the, the, they're, they're spoofing these markets. And where else are we going from here? Uh, it's a long article. And uh, gosh, that was almost, I almost read the whole thing to you. It's in Bloomberg and it's called, if you want to read it, I think you can read it for free before they make you pay for their trash. Uh, I shouldn't say that. Uh, give me one second here. Uh, J.P. Morgan's Big Hitters, that's, that's the title of this article, J.P. Morgan's Big Hitters of Gold, Market Face Trial Over Spoofing. Great article. It's also in Zero Hedge if you want to read it. Uh, hey, listen, I got some buddies calling me. They want to go out and eat, and I'm ready to eat myself. So I'm going to call it quits right now. I thought that was really cool. Uh, as far as the show goes, uh, the show's really good. I didn't bring enough stuff up here to sell, and uh, I'm kind of enjoying myself just walking around looking at things. Um, as far as coin markets go, the hottest thing out there right now is tone coins. People love tone coins right now. They're paying stupid premiums for tone coins. Best I can tell you, it seems to be the hottest thing in the coin market. Well, folks, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, audio broadcast here. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow to finish up for Friday and then back to our regular show on Monday. Hey, thanks. Have yourself a great evening. And as I always say, uh, always question authority and think for yourself. Good night now.